is MSR's Elixir 2 backpacking tent. As much or little as you want, and then you can roll it up and neatly stash it away. So now we're going to talk about closed cell foam mattresses. This is MSR's Elixir 2 backpacking tent. It's an amazing tent with a lot of great features, and it comes at an amazing price. Let's take a look. This is the pole system for the MSR Elixir 2. The main part is just this one piece uh, pole section, with, which is half red, half gray. There's also a spreader pole, which we'll get to later. And once these main two attachment points are set in place, you can just jiggle the rest and it should snap into place. These are high quality aluminum poles, so they will bend and uh, you don't have to worry about breaking them. And then set up from here is actually pretty interesting. What you do is you take the middle section in between the two attachment points and you pull the two rods apart. And then as you can see, this spreads out the ends. So you can put one in this corner, one in this corner, and then one in this corner, one in this corner. Obviously, I'm gonna need some help from a friend to fully set this up. But past that, MSR has fully color coded all the grommets as well as all the clips on the body of the uh, tent to make this pretty dummy proof. If you do get confused though, MSR has included a few infographics on the pull bag, which is really nice and helpful if you're very confused and it's dark and you can't see the colors. So here's a look at the body of the MSR Elixir 2 tent. As you can see, it's a combination of mesh, synthetic, and then the waterproof bathtub floor. So the mesh is mainly on the top and the sides. You can see this nice diamond shape here. And then there's one triangular uh, panel here and one exactly the same on the other side. This is quite a lot of mesh, so we wouldn't call this a four season backpacking tent, but it's definitely a three season. This synthetic uh, material here is very light and fairly standard for backpacking tents and the body nowadays. And then we've got a nice bathtub floor that's bright red. Uh, MSR has included a footprint for the MSR Elixir 2, so you don't have to worry about picking that up separately. And it's a little bit loose, so what we recommend doing is hooking it onto the pole system and then hooking the body on because the body is a lot tighter than the footprint, so that'll hold everything in place. Here's the spreader pole that we were talking about, and while we're on the pole system, you'll notice the uh, color coding now, so you can see the gray goes with the gray poles, and then down there the red goes with the red poles. And this spreader pole over the top really just increases the volume and the headspace of the tent. It also brings the door out quite a bit, which is awesome because it makes getting in and out of the tent very easy. There are two doors to this tent, which is really good for two people. Uh, it's good to see that MSR has kept this in because a lot of the times when companies are trying to reduce weight on backpacking tents, they tend to ditch one door right off the bat to minimize the, the weight and the size. But it's good to see that that's still in. It's a dual zipper right here. And it comes all the way up and open. And it rolls back and you got a nice toggle and loop here to secure it in place. So inside the tent now, there's actually quite a bit of space. I'm 5'9 and I can comfortably lie down here. Uh, and if there was someone else of equal or greater size, I don't think it would be an issue. It's good to see that MSR has kept this tent livable and roomy. Uh, generally when uh, companies are competing for the lightest backpacking tent, they tend to cut some corners and you end up with a really cramped living experience. But uh, it's not the case for this Elixir 2, which is a good thing to see. There are a few other features that we'd like to point out. There's a really big mesh pocket here, which is great for storing maybe next day's clothes or anything else like that. Up top here, I'm not sure if you can catch it, but there's a, a triangular pocket here, which is great for headlamps and you can use it to shine light down on whatever you're doing inside the tent. And then finally, the zippers we'd like to point out are actually, uh, they're glow in the dark. So it's pretty easy to find them at night, even when there are no lights. Uh, we should note that this tent is completely symmetrical. So anything we've mentioned on this side is also present on that side. That also goes for 
the pockets up here. There's also a pocket here that you wouldn't be able to see. Finally, there are some uh, little attachment points at the very top. I'm not sure if you can see those, but there are four in a small square. And that can be used for attaching a gear loft or really just hanging anything there uh, to dry out maybe or to store some extra gear. So here's a look with the fly on now. It's actually uh, quite unique, the vestibule system we have here. So it's bright red, which is a nice accent. And uh, the first sort of segment rolls up really well. And again, it's another toggle and loop situation to hold it in place there. Um, there's also another toggle and loop on this seam right here, which you can actually use to roll this further and then hold it right along here if you want a little bit more open vestibule. But undoing this now, zipping it up is really easy. And there's actually a double zipper. So you could open it from the top too if you wanted. There's a nice storm flap with Velcro. And then past that, we have a little vent here on the side. There's also one on the other side as well. And there are a few guy out points. There's one here being held by a peg. And then the ones up top, there's one here, as well as one right at the top of the vestibule. And these have nice red, white, and reflective guy lines attached which are really high visibility, as well as some adjustment sliders uh, built right in. So it's really good to see that MSR has included these guy lines and that they're really quality and that uh, there's good ventilation and guy out for this uh, fly. So there are just a few more noteworthy features for the MSR Elixir 2 tent. If you didn't see in the first shot, there are the instructions printed right on the tent bag, which is an awesome feature. MSR has also included these red aluminum tent pegs. These are fairly standard and kind of flimsy, so we would recommend picking up some unbendable ones if you want to, because they'll probably last a lot longer than these. However, these will not get uh, mixed up with your friend's pegs, which is a cool touch. So the MSR Elixir 2 weighs in at six pounds flat. Yeah, this isn't the lightest tent we've ever seen. It's definitely on the heavier side for a backpacking tent, but it has such great features that it's, it's hard to say that we'd want it anywhere else. It also has an amazing price. So often to go a few ounces lighter, you'd end up paying maybe 200 extra dollars and you'd be losing out on a door or something like that. So we definitely say that if you're interested in weight, but you'd prefer to have the comfort living and the extra features, the MSR Elixir 2 tent is just for you. If you're looking for something that's the lightest possible though, you might want to look somewhere else in the MSR line, such as the Carbon Reflux 2. We hope you enjoyed this review of the Elixir 2 tent from MSR. Please leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and we'll catch you next time.